the primary benefit that I got from the beginning, and I don't know that I ever really adopted the community because I came really fascinated with how does this work? How do these people, how do they see, how do they understand? Why do we say I see when I mean I understand? And why, I came that way. So there's a certain amount of change I didn't maybe have the opportunity to enjoy. But first of all, it's just plain fun. And if, what you're, if you're having fun with what you do, then you're going to share that fun and that joy with the people around you. So there, you don't need more than that, but there's a lot more than that. Um, we've taken any number of informal surveys, informal polls, and we said, well, how'd you get to be a behavioral optometrist or an optometrist that, pr that practices the behavioral philosophy? And the two answers that came out was there were patients I didn't know how to help. And I discovered that I could help them by adopting a different viewpoint, which was the behavioral philosophy. Well, that's a pretty obvious, I can help more patients as an optometrist if I adopt this philosophy. The second one was, and it reaches back to the first, it's just fun, is I found that sitting in a little room for 15 minutes at a time, twisting knobs for a pair of eyes on a, on a whatever walked in that day was not very much fun. It was boring. And I needed a job that engaged my mind and my heart and let's go the, the rest of the way. I needed a job that was filled with spirit. You know, um, it's, it's a soul job. It's, it, it reaches who you are. And you know, there's people who can play the piano and there's people who can play the blues. And it's a real thing. Um, I, like to be, I like to have it live through my fingers. <laughs>